Okay, so sometimes for beginning students, it's easier to create a skeleton and then locate our circles and then we can put our fillets and arcs and things of that nature on it. So with this one, I'm going to start by creating a skeleton of what I need. And the skeleton will look like a line here. And then a line going from this midpoint going directly up to locate that center. So that's what we're going to use to create this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a line that has a distance of 80. So I'll start a line from this point. And once again, I want to make sure that that line is horizontal. So I'll select ortho. I'll go out this direction and I'll type in 80. Escape out of the line command and zoom out a little bit just to make sure all of our running O snaps are the same. These are the ones that I'm using. So I'll start with a line from this midpoint going directly up a distance of 25.5. So that's the skeleton that I needed to create to get all of my other points. Let's start with a circle, center radius. At this point, 13.5. Let's create another circle, center radius, at this location, and it has a radius of 10. And I'll also do another circle center radius of 10 at this location. It's the exact same size as my last one, so I'll use the Enter button. Next, I need to connect a line from this tangent to that tangent. So you're going to have to use the tangent button twice, or the tangent O snap. So select the line, shift right click and choose tangent. Select on your line here, shift right click again choose tangent and select on this line here escape and do the exact same on this side line shift right click tangent and shift right click tangent again and escape if you don't like shifting and right click you can always use the alternative I can start a line and type in T A N, enter, and that's the first three letters of the O snap that I want to use. Select on this line, then type in T A N again, enter, and then select on that line, or sorry, on that circle. Okay, escape. Now I'm done with the skeleton that I needed to locate my points, so I'll go ahead and delete those. Now, creating this bottom part, there are two different ways. I'll show you the long way first. So I can use the fillet command. No, I'm sorry, I can use the circle, tangent, tangent, radius. I'll select the tangency of this circle, so somewhere along here, and then somewhere along here. And the radius is 49. And then from this method, we can use the trim and trim off all of the additional arcs in between it. I'm just going to use the undo command, so you enter. And then I'll delete this circle. And I'll use the much faster option of using fillet. Radius. 49. Now you do have to be careful what you select, so I'm going to select somewhere along the inside of that circle and somewhere on this circle. It should give you a preview if you're doing it correctly. And then like we did before with the trim command, we can trim off in between. Let's go back to the circle command and use the center diameter. It's going to be at the center of this one, so remember just touch your arc. And then click on the center. Type in 13.5. And for this bottom one here, I'll do the exact same thing. So circle, center diameter, touch the arc, select your center. And this one is 10. 
So continuing along, one more circle, center diameter, touch the arc, select your center, and 10. Okay, hopefully that was easy enough to follow along. Thanks for watching.